This morning I'm going to be making a knit t-shirt for my husband and I'm using this project to really practice the skill of attaching neck bands, knit neck bands to knit t-shirts. Um, this is something that I have struggled with and so uh, this is really going to be the focus of this project, I'm trying to get a kind of a clean flat neck band. Since this video is focusing on the neck band, we'll be speeding through the other parts of constructing the t-shirt. I used the Liesl & Company Metro Men's t-shirt pattern for this project. So first just cut out all the pieces. You should have a front piece, back, two sleeves, and a neck band. Pin the front to the back piece at the shoulder seams with right sides together and sew them according to the seam allowance in the pattern. Then just press the seam towards the back of the shirt. Match up the short ends of the neckband with right sides together and stitch. Now pressing really well is going to be very important to getting a clean flat neckband. So first press the seam to one side of the neckband and then fold it in half long ways with the right sides on the outside this time and press really well all the way around. Next, we want to divide the neckband into equal quarters. Starting at the seam, fold it in half and then use pins to mark the midpoints. After that, fold it in half again and mark the opposite midpoints. Set the neckband aside and repeat the process with the neckline on the shirt. Fold it in half and match up the shoulder seams to find the center front and center back. When you mark the other midpoints, you'll see that they're not lined up exactly with the shoulder seams and that's okay. Now match the four pinned points on the neckband with the four pinned points on the neckline and pin the band to the shirt with right sides together and the raw edges aligned. I recommend matching the seam on the neckband with the center back point on the shirt. You'll see that the neckband is shorter than the neckline, so stretch the neckband to fit and pin evenly all the way around. Be deliberate and pin often. So slowly and carefully, pausing to remove pins and make sure that you don't have any extra fabric bunched underneath. All right, here's the moment of truth. I think that came out pretty well. All that's left is to iron it, so use lots of steam to get it nice and flat, and then we'll be ready to finish up the rest of the shirt. So this is um, the progress I've made. I just finished sewing the neckband and I'm really pleased with how this turned out actually. This is probably one of the best neckbands that I've done. Um, it's fairly flat, it's pretty even, and I'm really excited to see how it comes together. Next we'll attach the sleeves to the shirt and sew up the side seams. You can refer back to the pattern instructions for more details about the rest of the steps. I'm going to speed through this a little bit. Pin the curved edge of the sleeve to the armhole of the shirt. If you have any excess fabric, just distribute it evenly like we did with the neckband. Then just sew the seam and get ready for the side seam, which is the last step. Pin and sew the side seam from the edge of the sleeve all the way down to the hem. You'll sew it in one straight shot. I finished my raw edges with the serger and then folded them under and used a twin needle to complete the hem. Feel free to use your own method for hemming. So here's the finished product. I think it turned out really great. I'm really pleased with the way it turned out. Um, once again, the neckband came out just perfectly. It's flat, it's even. I think it looks really professional. And in general, I think the whole shirt just turned out uh, just like I was imagining. I think this one is a real winner, one I'll definitely be making again. Thanks for watching.